Good morning, everybody. I'm Mackie. I'm That's Sid. Sid. She's being more awesome today. Yeah. Be more awesome this shirts is, on yeah. our website from Psychological. They're awesome. They're awesome. More awesome, in fact. Anyway, we are back today with another van video, and it's, it's been. This a is long our first time. in a while. Yeah, it was a year actually. It hasn't been that long. Okay. Not, <laughs> Not that long. A long but time. it's been a while, and. You know, we've been really happy with our van setup. Like we sort of feel like we got everything where we wanted it to be. We've been living out of it, like fixing tiny little things here and there. But pretty much once we like set down, planned it all out and then built it all out, it's been pretty much perfect. So yeah. the one thing that we were struggling with is that we didn't quite have enough power in our single auxiliary battery to last for like more than two, maybe three days. Two days of very conscious. Yeah. Yeah. And and then we couldn't run our 12 volt rice cooker, which is really sad. <laughs> so. You know how we feel about the rice yeah, cooker. Yeah, we love the rice cooker. So, so we decided that it was time for a solar panel. Oh, Sid just whacked her leg. <laughs> it's like gun numb. <laughs> I like numb. So this is our ZAMP Solar Power to Explore. And I believe it's it's rated at 120 watts, but it's actually a 140 watt panel. That's what Dan, who is the guy we bought yeah, it from. So we were actually able to buy this locally in Taos, yes, New Mexico. Yes, which is really cool. Which is awesome. We were able to go into PPC, Paradise Power Company in Taos. A friend Dan owns this company and he was able to tell us like, oh, you want this, you don't want that, which is good because like when you look online for like a solar panel, you're like, I don't know, there's so many options and like you don't really know what you need. And we decided to get a folding out solar panel. So not one that is installed on the top of the van because as you know, if you've been following us, the top of our van is busy doing other things. <laughs> Specifically, being a bed. <laughs> Which it would have been nice to be able to mount it on top, but not necessary for what we do. That's pretty sick. That's awesome. Let's put it in the sun over here. Oh yeah, why do I have this in the shade? Yeah, it's not gonna work in the shade, silly head. Okay, there it is. Boom! There we go. It's all course, set up. I probably should point it towards Yeah, you the should sun. point it towards the sun. <laughs> now we're talking. Not that it's doing anything right now because it's not plugged in. Yeah. But it is sucking in the sun. So this is how we're gonna set up. And it has little battery clips. Will you show the battery clips on the wire there? Uh -huh. <laughs> so it has battery clips, so we could just directly plug it, like connect it to our battery, but then we'd have a cord running through the van, which would be very annoying. So our friend Dan helped us, uh, he's the guy we bought it from. He helped us install this on the outside of the van. All right, let's do it. I'm not gonna hit anything in there when I drill through, right? Pretty sure. This is the first hole I've drilled in the van. How's it look? Now that's so just plywood, just, I'm pretty to, sure. Yeah, do you want me to just drill a small hole straight through the plywood? Then? Yeah, if you don't mind, that that'd be great. Will be good with this going in, and then we just need to get And then it should and... just be able to sit perfect. Yep. All right, I'm ready. Now we're through. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good. great, yeah. And then I'll just plug into there. Yeah, plug sweet. Right in there. So you don't have uh, three minutes to give me a tour of the electric monster dune buggy, do you? I'm um, sure if you want to yes. take a look. But when I pulled in, I saw this thing. I was like, Dan, what is this crazy contraption? Yeah, well, this is a uh, pretty well beefed up Baja bug. It's even got Fox shots on it. Nice. So let's take a look back here. You can see that we have uh, evacuated the gas engine that was driving this and put in an electric. No motor. way. And uh, you can see our battery rack though is empty. Right That's there. down here. Batteries there. Okay. Got some batteries in the back and then a couple batteries all the way up in the front. 
Um, so you, it needed a lot of batteries, basically. Yeah, it needs a lot of batteries, and we put some in there that were almost adequate, but then we ended up just driving it too a hard and having too, too much fun. <laughs> and, uh, the batteries actually like smoked, which I've never seen a really? like that before. But, Whoa. Um, then we have this panel on top, which didn't actually charge the batteries, but what it did charge was the battery that ran the headlights and the uh, okay. and all the... So like the main battery, the main it charged that. Yeah, it, okay. it charged all the instruments. So. Um, but you know, you can see it's been sitting here for a while. Our tires are feeling <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a sweet rig, and uh, I'd love to see it back in action. But um, so you just need a couple of batteries, basically. Well, yeah, we need a. I mean, essentially, if we want it to run right the way it's supposed to, we need to probably spend about eight, nine thousand dollars on batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! So that's why it's still. Sitting so that's here. why it's still sitting there. So this is yeah. what you do when you own a solar company for yeah. fun: is you yeah. take a dune buggy and turn it into a yeah. an electric dune buggy. Yeah, we never actually had really the right batteries in there, so we okay. had some that were like we could afford that we put in there. Yeah. Uh, then I thought we'd get the right batteries, and we just haven't been able to do it. Fair. Time and money constraints. And you know. the right batteries meaning they needed to be able to put out more power more quickly yeah, to so be able to like really accelerate or hold more power and be more usable. So basically, we put some sealed lead acid batteries in there, and what we really need is like lithium ion or uh, okay. lithium iron batteries. They're like super powerful, super lightweight. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we'll see it on the road again sometime. I hope so. Man. That'd be <laughs> awesome. All right, what are you up to? So. We drilled the hole in the van, or Dan drilled the hole in the van, and Thanks, now we Dan. have two wires coming in. And so basically we need to connect these wires to the battery. This is when I wish I had a set of those fancy electrician things. <laughs> black just goes to black, obviously. And then the red goes through this little fuse, which is a 15 amp fuse, and then to the red. And then we plug in the solar panel and it should charge our battery. I think we should try plugging it in. It's a little challenging to plug in, but. All right, it's it plugged in. Let's see what the sensor says. 13.1, 13.2. Voltage is going up fast. What we especially like about this solar panel is that it's pretty much idiot proof. We literally just opened it up, folded the legs out, faced it in the sun, plugged it into the battery, and then we made sure that we had chosen the correct battery type, which is an AGM, which is what our battery is. And then that's it. It like tells you everything here. So power's on, it's charging, not full yet. This little light's on, which is saying that it's in the like, it's almost full. Up here it's saying that it's over 75% charged and it's charging up to the top. And then you can toggle between uh, how many amp hours, it has it has uh, put in the voltage and how many amps it's putting in. So it's really just a like simple, straightforward plug and play, which is perfect because while I understand electronics and I don't mind fussing with them a little bit, I don't really want to spend a ton of time <laughs> trying to figure out all this stuff and to just be able to like plug it in and have it work is perfect. I connected both of these to my tongue. Try it. No, I'm scared. <laughs> Last time I did that, I shorted out the entire van. So. That's true. It would be really a bummer to do something like that. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, Thank thanks, Dan. Thanks, PPC Solar. And yeah, we're really excited. And a full van tour is coming soon. This was kind of like the last piece. Mm -hmm. It was like the last thing we wanted to do to really get our van set up. And then we're going to do like a full, super in-depth video. Right. So yeah. If you like this, want to stick around for the van tour, hit that subscribe button subscribe. and we'll be back soon. And until then, don't forget to be more to awesome. Be more, awesome. <laughs> be more awesome shirts and stickers on our website. All yeah. right, we love you guys. Goodbye.